Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another installment of Ask PYS. We've got a question by from Monty. Monty's got a good question actually. I know all questions are good, but I love them because I've been scratching my head answering these questions when I started voting. And every one I see reminds me of the own, my own questions as I was going through my journey of learning about marine electrical systems. So sorry if I'm using the word good a lot. All right, so the question is this. If I'm putting together a new battery bank, is there any benefit between buying several batteries and connecting them together or getting one single large battery that's already rated at the target voltage, right? So for instance, uh, let's think about this. What's better, buying a 12 volt battery or two golf cart batteries that are six volts and wiring them in series? So from what I've read and what we've seen out in the field, the best battery is a series battery. So meaning when you're buying actually a 12 volt battery, you're actually not, there's no such thing as a 12 volt battery per se. It's six 2.1 volt cells that are wired in series to give you 12 volts. Same thing with a golf cart. A golf cart battery, the reason why there's three caps on top of the battery is it's actually wired three batteries that are 2.1 about volts wired in series to give you a six volt battery. And so when you're actually looking and building a battery bank on your boat, if it's possible and it's not always possible, the ideal battery bank is a battery bank built of multiple smaller battery voltages to give you your target voltage. For instance, um, if we're wiring a Firefly battery bank with the four volt battery, and I'm doing that today on one of the boats, we're wiring a 24 volt battery bank. So we'll wire six four volt batteries in series to give us a 24 volt battery bank. And that is, to me, a perfect battery because it's a series battery. In the old days, I've seen boats that bought batteries in two volts and would literally have 12 two volt batteries stacked in series to make a 24 volt battery. So if possible, buy batteries in small enough voltages so that they're all wired in series. Now, clearly that's easier said than done. And most of the cases, to be honest, we have to wire batteries in parallel. The other challenge that needs to be considered is the weight. Um, you know, you might be strong today, but think about your older self 10, 5, 15 years from now when you're going to actually be removing a battery from your boat and putting a new battery in. So what I'm encouraging boat owners to think about is to not install these big 8D batteries. An 8D battery weighs about 160 pounds. It's inhumane for one person to lift off the floor unless you're a bodybuilder. And to be quite honest, it's really hard to move these batteries in and out of a boat. So in a lot of situations, what we're doing is we're taking a AD battery and we're actually replacing it with smaller batteries. The reason we're doing that is because the battery is located in a really inaccessible space. So bringing batteries on or off and on your boat has to be one of the factors that you decide on choosing how you're gonna build a battery bank. So that's one variable, and the other variable, like I said, is ideally series, but most of us can't just do a series batteries. It's not possible, and so in the end, we build battery banks by doing both series connections and then parallel connections to get the battery bank and powers and voltage that we need. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask it below or use our contact form on our website. Support us to keep this channel ad-free. Happy to donate my time because I'm a boater too, but help us offset the cost of doing these videos by donating via PayPal or potentially buying some of our merch on our store. And don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you can keep having these weekly and we're producing almost four videos a week now. And thanks again for watching.